Good day, one and all. Welcome back to Julia Among the Stars. Rachel Manners and Mobot are piece by piece putting together the final moments of the mysterious circumstances under which all of the crew in the landing party died. We have acquired a, an SD card which we can use to crack data pads in maintenance mode. Um, SD card. Please insert the nano SD memory card. Yes. There we go. We're going to crack. Or attempt to crack passwords. Bath. I've forgotten his name. attempts remaining. See? Oh, L. Okay. And then some numbers. Bath, Krylov. One. Two. Okay. I need to remember this name. Bath, Krylov. Okay, let's do that again. Bath, Krylov. I love and there was definitely a two and there were no ones and zeros three no four seven Got two more attempts left aha right here's Bath Krylov Let's see what his journal has to say. Now this is interesting. Originally Xenophon was our main target, yet it's entirely devoid of any life. Does it mean we landed at the wrong place? Or did Julia make another one of her infamous mistakes? From the very beginning I was warning everyone about the premature total reliance on untested sophisticated technology and it would seem that I was correct in my assumptions. There is a possibility that some miscalculation made by Chandra led us towards Ambrosia, but there's no way those things could have sent out any signal. Either way, we caught it and it led us here, so let's explore. 24th. Today our crew encountered mild nausea. Nothing worth caring about, as there are more pressing matters. There is something wrong with this planet. I was conducting a spectral analysis of our surroundings and the data simply doesn't add up. I'm considering the idea that this place was once actually bustling with life, but what happened? I'm growing very curious. It would have been nice research if I hadn't run into that Cynthia Cleveland creature again. Gosh, she's getting on my nerves. How could someone as stupid as her even make it into our crew? Golly. 25th. What the hell? Our data channels are dead. Andy decided to keep this information to ourselves for some reason. Well, he's the boss here. For now, we've simply said that the communication with Julia is ongoing and nothing extraordinary has been found. It gets me worried, though. If we never recover our data channels, we're stuck on this planet. I'll try to look into the communication issue myself to make sure there's no sabotage. One suspect immediately jumps to mind. 26th. I'm still not sure what's jamming our communication. I've run every single test available, but still can't isolate the problem. I might ask Alex to look into this with me. It should be his job anyway, and I'm not that big of an expert on such things. Also, what originally seemed like ordinary nausea now appears more serious than we thought. Zeng looks as if she, she had been poised by thallium. Our planetary data check ruled out radiation poisoning, which would have very similar symptoms. I'm convinced this is an inside job, and my instincts point me to only one person. Could she be jealous of Li Zhang? Is that it? Better keep a close watch on her. Well, there's the key. The planetary data check ruled out radiation poisoning, so that was inc that's wrong. Right, 27th. Li Zheng died today. Her illness pro progressed so rapidly, I'm convinced she had to be poisoned. 
I wish I could verify that with Julia's internal laboratory, but the damn data stream is silent. We can't even get back into orbit. I called Alex to help me out with the data channels problem, but even after triple checking every single thing, we couldn't discover what's jamming the communication lines. The cause must be here in the station because we were able to verify data that's travelling to and from the probe. We just can't access it. In my opinion, somebody messed with the decryption unit. But how? 28. I feel terrible. Have I been poisoned as well? If this is true, I have only three days to find out the cause of the poisoning and obtain an antidote. Not a very nice outlook. Okay, and he goes on. Something about... Um, passwords. Do, 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 do. Next. We've decided to play a little game with Miss Cleveland. Oh dear. Alex died today. 31st. Oh dear. They killed her. He's wiped some data from her data pad. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. So they're just. So Bath and Alex are playing around with Cynthia. Oh dear. Okay, so he's now going to go to the hovercraft and try and make a handmade Geiger counter. Okay, so he's starting to suspect that, this, that it's radiation sickness. Okay, steampunk. Okay. Data pad password for Andy's log. Okay. And the last one, he's going to die soon. The radiation level is 11 Geigers. It's too much for anyone to handle. I should have known this earlier. We have failed. Okay. So we've now got... Um, who's Andy's? Whose is this? That's Bath. That's Cynthia. I Okay. There were I's and E's. Oh. Let's let's stay logical. Let's go and do um Andy's data pad. This one. Okay, AN 976822 1K exclamation mark. Am I gonna remember that? Anne? No, I need to write that down. AN 976822 1K exclamation mark. Alright, let's see what his data pad says. Oh my goodness. A N nine seven six eight two two it's eight two and another two two one K There is no exclamation mark. Okay. That's not part of the password. Right. Let's see what this guy has to say for himself. We finally landed on this rock. Okay. Telling the crew they need to write daily records. All seems fine. Uh, crew is complaining about headaches. Did a scan. Everything was fine. 25th, we're screwed. Data channels have died. Okay, all the logs agree. He's fed up with Cynthia. Okay, 26th. He thinks Lee has been poisoned. No contact with the probe. And Cynthia's looking around. 27th, Lee's dead. She begged me to end her pain. I eased her last moments and informed the crew of her death. So that could have been a shot with the laser rifle. Okay, nine shots. Right, 28th. 
fourth day, data channels are still dead. Um, Bath has been ordered to create data pad hacking software. He wants to get into Cynthia's data pad because he's suspecting her. Today I accuse Cynthia of the crew poisoning. Okay. And he's bitching about the crew allocations. Okay. 30th. Alex has died. That witch will pay! My goodness. So that's two. So they've set up a trap for Cynthia. Okay. 32. My data pad didn't confirm anything. Was she innocent after all? What the hell is going on? Are we cursed? 33rd. Bath's getting worse. He's going insane. And he's obsessed with an experiment. So that was his Geiger counter. 34th. Data channels are dead. Bath's lost his mind. And then destroyed the hovercraft. Okay. This is madness. 35th. Now he's feeling sick. Okay, Bath's gonna die soon. There's nothing much to say except we're slightly dying. Okay. Bath's dead, so um, the gag counter works, it's correct. They've all been uh, exposed to lethal levels of radiation. How could we have missed this? Our devices were synchronized with the probe. Oh, is it is it like 2001? Is Julia the evil one? <laughs> um, someone must have tampered with Julia. 37, Bath has died. He still thinks it's Cynthia. Okay. Our expedition has failed, and then he died. Golly. The next thing to do is to crack uh, Cynthia's data pad, or all of the other data pads. We'll do that in the next episode. For now, I bid you a fond farewell and a tally-ho!